Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. In this short video, I just wanted to share something with you that I stumbled onto the other day playing around with my Sony a6000. Um, I bought the Mikey battery grip for my Sony a6000 and I took a look at the cable that came with it and just kind of inadvertently plugged it into one of my old radio triggers that I used to use with my Nikon cameras and all of a sudden it worked and it was stone reliable and I'm so happy that I stumbled onto it I want to share it with you guys so that's what this video is all about today let's take a look <laughs> Okay, so basically what I did was uh, I was playing around with the Mikey battery grip for my Sony a6000 and I just took the cable that comes with it and attaches to your a6000, which I'm recording with here right now, and I noticed it was a 2.5 millimeter jack, so I plugged it into my, this is a Young Nuo RF-603N. So I have about four of these things that I used to use with my Nikon cameras, and I noticed that this thing fits perfectly well and so the next obvious thing to do was to plug it into the multi port on my Sony a7 III and a6000 and voila it works just great so the beauty of it is is that this thing which is a terrific remote control I use it all the time you know for this kind of situation if I'm in the studio but it's IR okay sunlight low light forget it this thing is not going to work it's not reliable i've been out on the back deck with it in the the daylight and it works sometimes it's it's not too bad but it just doesn't give you that stone reliability that uh, i came to know and love with my rf 603s okay and so um, once i realized that this cable was the issue I went out and it's supposed to be, I thought this was a USB micro uh, cable. So I bought a couple of cables that looked similar, but they're not. Uh, and I'm gonna show you this image here and you can see the difference in the two. So if you just order a USB micro cable, you're gonna get one of these and, and it will plug into the multi port on your A7 III or A6000, um, but it won't actually allow the remote control to work. So what you're going to need to do is order one of these cables. Here's the link for it. And it basically gives you, um, actually it is called, uh, let's see, it's a 2.5 millimeter dash S2 stereo remote shutter connecting cord. Okay, and it took me a little while to find it. I pulled it off of Amazon and I'll put the link in the description to the video here. Um, but there was two things that I noticed. First of all, you know, the, the Mikey battery grip cable has this 90 degree thing and the, the, the way it connected in, it just wasn't working for me, right? So if you're gonna take your Sony a7 III and you wanna plug it into the multi-port, you want something that's gonna go straight in like that. You can either hang this off the side or you can put it into the, the a hot shoe for the flash and then plug it in like so turn this on and then once I turn the camera on here I don't know if you can hear that or not but it's let's pull this off I had the timer left set on with the the a7 III but uh, I think you get the idea so let me just turn that off there we go put her on to single shot and so you can press the button down halfway you can hear the beep stone reliable these things are amazing so I can't recommend you enough if you want a reliable radio trigger for your Sony cameras and I've tested this on the a7 III I've tested on my Sony a6000 I'll plug it into the multi port 2.5 millimeter stereo jack here and you'll think you've died and gone to heaven if you have a use for a remote control so uh, the links are in the description that's pretty much it for this one um, hope you get some benefit out of it and we'll see you next time bye for now